everybody. Welcome to the front row. We are here at SeaWorld Orlando to check out a little bit of construction on Icebreaker uh, and see what else is going on in the park today. I'm so excited to be here. Icebreaker's almost done. Let's go take a walk over there and I will meet you guys in front of the new ride. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we actually have one lone construction worker. The ride looks pretty much done. Off camera wife says there's a bunch of them. Let's go see. Uh, since the construction, uh, this pathway has been blocked off for the longest time uh, while they were doing the construction. But uh, seems like they're done with this section here and it is reopened. You actually get to walk right underneath the coat. This is actually pretty insane when you get up close to it and realize and you actually see how close this track and the car is going to be to the guests walking down the path. This is crazy. This is gonna add so much kinetic movement back in this area of the park. The best part about this ride is that it's actually going to have a 48 inch height requirement. There's that spike, that past 90 degree spike for the backwards launch. But yeah, this is going to have a 48 inch height requirement, which will be SeaWorld's first roller coaster with a 48 inch height requirement, which I'm sure for all of you smaller listeners, watchers, or for all you parents with kids that aren't quite up to the 54 inch mark yet, Man, that wind, I promise, I promise, it's gonna get fixed soon. Man, that spike, look how close we are to it. I mean, I feel like I can reach out and touch it. That's crazy. Guys, it feels like I'm in Jurassic Park. There's so many work walls. <laughs> now, these ones are a little different though. They're blue, blue, green. I might be colorblind, who knows? But look at that thing. Man, the guests are going to get so close to this thing while it's moving. This is going to add so much fun kinetic energy to this side of the park. I cannot wait. Ooh, let's go get a look. See if we can't see over by Mango Joe's if we can get a better look at this construction. See you over there. Walk up past Mango Joe's. That's where we came from back there. We're going to walk up past Mango Joe's and see if we get a better look over by the... Uh, path that they use for other stuff for like uh, holidays and things back where uh, Rudolph was for the Christmas celebration this is the uh, front patio for Mango Joe's they took the back patio off to uh, add the queue for this ride it's a pretty cool shot of that top hat there it looks it's gonna have like a twisting element going towards the top and then down and over and around. Ooh, let's see. Let's see if I can peek through here. You can kind of peek. Kind of peek through back there. See what looks like the queue back there. Almost done, guys. Almost done. That's, it looks like the track is 100% complete. But. I can't really tell because you can't see behind the work walls. But as I was saying, having a 48 inch height requirement for this ride is going to be huge. Uh, it'll launch three times, a lot like Tigris, only it's not going to go upside down. This is going to be really, really cool addition to the wild arctic areas. Wild arctic, they've got that uh, section blocked off where they had the uh, games and stuff. But it looks to me like the ride is still open. Yeah, here, look at this. Looks like you would still have access to Wild Arctic. What is it? Oh. See, the animal exhibit is open today, but the ride is closed. That's mighty inconvenient. Hmm. But they did apologize, so I guess it's okay. Well, as you can see, guys, the track's not quite complete yet. 
still got a couple more track pieces to put on back there. But there's that top hat. It's the restrooms over by Mango Joe's. It's that top hat. And then it goes down and into some twirly, swirly sections over there. This is gonna be pretty cool, guys. Cannot wait. I can say with these last uh, two announcements from the SeaWorld Parks in Orlando, that being SeaWorld Orlando and Busch Gardens Tampa, uh, they're really stepping their game up as far as roller coasters are concerned. They're really the only game uh, in town when it comes to roller coasters because Disney does their specific kind of like indoor themed roller coasters. Universal does a very specific kind of roller coaster. The, the SeaWorld Parks tend to go big with the roller coasters and do some cool, interesting things. Uh, I'm gonna say it now so that it's out, but it's not in any way confirmed. The big rumor for next year is uh, B&M Wing here, which would be really, really interesting because it's just a type of ride that we don't have uh, in Florida, so B&M Wing Coaster, so I'd be really excited to see that. But what do you think, guys? Think we should go take a walk around and see what else there is? Let's go take a walk. Shoot, it's your monster. Rectangle. Purple. Pink. Brown. To the nose. That does it for our day here at SeaWorld Orlando, checking out the construction on uh, Icebreaker. They're almost done with it. The track pieces are almost all together. And then we will get uh, some test shots here coming up pretty soon. But remember, the wait is always worth it for the front row, and I will see you guys in the next video.